Hi, this is Don's Get with Technique Peak. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, a quick trick that you can use to help your patients that are struggling getting that horizontal abduction, especially early on in the rehab process, uh, and give you some stuff that you should look out for uh, when they're doing this. So obviously, when you're working on that early range of motion horizontal abduction, you can have your patients lift straight out. And that's what we're all used to, have them come out and come up here. What you may see that we may not see a lot is them compensating by extending that wrist. What this can lead to is can lead to like that uh, lateral epicondylitis kind of pain or elbow discomfort if you're seeing that your, your patients are struggling to keep that position. So you want to make sure that, that they're not extending that wrist, they're keeping that into a neutral position as they're working on that horizontal abduction. If your patient is struggling with this motion as you're trying to get them to activate, a great way to, to get them started is to bring them into that abduction position and then have them slowly come down eccentrically. And go down slow, nice and slow, good. At this phase, when you're working on just activating and proper neuromuscular control of the movement, you don't necessarily have to work through the full range, just trying to get them to activate that properly. So hold and then bring it down nice and slow. Good. And as that control gets better and better, now you can bring them back to more of that full range and have them come up. Good. Again, keeping an eye, making sure that they're not compensating and extending that wrist. All right, so keep that down. So just a couple of tips that you can use, especially for your patients that may be struggling with that early shoulder abduction range of motion. Time to scale with Technique Peak.